Hey guys, it's me Jess. So in this video, I'm going to share with you how I wear and style 10 different kinds of midi dress outfit as a 149cm girls. This dress is actually a new collection of mine. So I've actually only got to wear this once. But I know that I'm going to wear this dress a lot in the future. This dress is just a very easy, breezy, and simple to wear dress. I personally love to wear it as it is for a more relaxed, casual look. But this dress actually also comes with a belt if you want to look more fitted and polished. And you can just tie it at the side here as the picture suggests. But I also like to tie it as a ribbon and put it in the middle here. I actually wear this dress with the belt and pair it with my sandals to go to a casual lunch in a hotel. But I do think this dress will be also the perfect dress to wear for a road trip and I like to pair it with my sports shoes. The first time I see this dress, actually I feel like this dress is gonna look quite long on me. But after I wear it, I actually really love the length of this dress. which. Brings me to my tips number one, find the perfect length of midi dress for your own proportion. As for me, I do not have the slimmest or sexiest calves, so I like to find the dress that can kind of cover my calves area. So the next outfit is this teacher skirt. I call this teacher skirt because I remember when I was in elementary school, I think my teacher had the same exact camel color and the length of the skirt is just perfect for a teacher skirt. This is actually one of my favorite outfit to wear to office. I also usually wear this with my sandals. Um, I don't have to wear something formal to office but of course I do not want to go to office with a t-shirt and a short pants. So yeah, this has been my favorite outfit to wear to office as it looks casual but also appropriate. So this skirt has an A-lining model and I know that this is not actually a really midi dress but rather a knee-length kind of skirt which brings me to my second tip. Uh, I think for an A-lining dress or skirt, it's not really suitable if I wear it past too long from the knee. Just stop on the knee length is perfect. Outfit number 3 is this ruffle asymmetrical skirt. So I know that this skirt has been all over Instagram, Pinterest and of course online shop. When I first saw this dress, I actually thought that I couldn't pull it off because of the ruffle at the bottom that might look too heavy on my short legs. But to my surprise, this dress can actually make your leg look longer than it actually is. Well, because of the asymmetrical lining and that small slit in the front that made the whole skirt become petite friendly. So as I actually walk, the slit and the ruffle becomes very flowy that will show a little bit more of my legs. And of course, it will kind of look the illusion of a longer legs here. And I especially love to wear this look with my sport shoes just to give it a more casual sporty look. I also usually wear this when I go to a mall where I'm lazy to dress up but I don't want to wear my short pants. Tips number 3. Now that we know asymmetrical ruffle and slit dresses are petite friendly, I actually own quite a few of them. Well, as you can see from this dress, it has a high slit at both sides of the dress which is perfect and since this dress is also made of sheer true lace and I'm wearing short inside so it does show a little more skin than the usual midi dress so yeah basically this dress is just really petite friendly I actually wear this dress a lot when I was in Taiwan during fall I usually pair it with my black leather jacket and I also usually wear my spot shoes to complete the look I wore this a lot to go to a bar last time when I was in Taiwan but for some reasons I rarely wear this dress now in Malaysia but yeah, I can imagine wearing this to a bar here too. So 
the next dress is this black ruffle dress and this next dress is actually quite tricky because I did have to alter this dress not on the length side but on the sleeves area well the sleeve was not too overly big to begin with but here is the thing about wearing midi dress when you are petite you want to make sure that you are wearing the dress and not the other way around or else you are gonna look like you are wearing your mom's dress which brings me to my next tip tips number four make sure you are wearing the right proportion of the dress and find the balance of each dress well in this case you can see that the sleeve is actually quite long um, which is fine for me if it were a short dress if I didn't tighten the sleeve, I think the whole dress is going to look too heavy on my body frame. I can imagine myself wearing this with my white wedges sandal and also to add on a little bit of height too. And I can also imagine wearing this to a high-end restaurant on a lunch date maybe. But really, I actually wore this dress when I went to Japan on my sport shoes and I love the look of it. Okay, outfit number 6 This next dress is just a very feminine and girly dress It has pink fabric inside and layered on with white laces on top I think this dress also has the perfect length for me that is just past below my knees um, This dress is also semi casual dress I can also imagine myself wearing this with my white sandal wedges and I think this is the perfect dress uh, when I go to a high tea or garden kind of party maybe but seriously I just have to pair anything with my sport shoes um, the last time I wore this combination was also when I went to Japan I also layered it with my black leather jacket and I really love that look of the dress as well now you know that I am a huge fan of sport shoes Okay, going to a more formal look, I call this a Cheongsam dress because I literally wear this for my last Chinese New Year dinner and it has that button near your neck that are quite similar to the one from Cheongsam dress So this dress is definitely past my knee covering my calf and they have a pretty big and high slit in front that is meant to show one of the legs I suppose um, but yeah, to be honest, I think that this dress is just slightly too long for my liking Which is going back to my tips number one Find the perfect length of midi dress for your own proportion So that is why I will always wear this with high heel or, or this sandal wedges And I can definitely wear this dress to a dinner or to a next year Chinese New Year reunion again maybe and now we are going into party dress so I call this the Cinderella dress because well this dress is just really dreamy very flowy and definitely the longest midi dress among all this dress also has a lot of layers inside that makes you want to swirl like a Cinderella <laughs> so as this is definitely a party dress I will always pair this with my high heels I also want to give a shout out for these Jimmy Choo high heels because definitely guys this is the most comfortable heels that I wear so far and not to say that this shoes is also very tricky I actually wore this on my friend's wedding garden party dinner but I think it will look very good too on a lunch wedding party as the dress has a blue pastel color Okay, so outfit number 9 and number 10 are actually quite similar It is this asymmetrical ruffle skirt And it has this big ruffle details on the skirt Which, to be honest, tips number 5 Do not go too big on the details or pattern when you're wearing midi dress or skirt Because, again, you want to wear the dress and not the other way around but for this skirt, I also actually had to alter a little bit where I want the shorter side of the skirt to be above my knees 
So I had to make the skirt a little smaller so I can wear it high waisted. Just to be honest, with this kind of ruffle, which is a little too big for my li liking, and it can easily eat your lower body area. And with this kind of skirt, uh, which is going back to my tips number four, make sure you're wearing the right proportion of the dress and find the balance of each dress. Well, in this case, I'm wearing this halter neck top and pair it with high heels. So I just kind of give the balance of the look with showing more of your skin or just say showing more of myself just to kind of balance and bring more attention of the look. And last but not least is outfit number 10. Okay, this is the same skirt that I wore previously, but this skirt actually also comes with a set, which is also this ruffle top. Well, you guys must be wondering, right? Well, I thought you just say it to find balance, but why did you pair ruffles on top of ruffles? Well, I'm not a designer, guys, but if you see, the top actually really goes perfectly with the skirt. And obviously, it is a crop top of the shoulder, which will also bring attention to your upper body. Well, I will also wear this with high heels, and I think that this dress is more suitable for a party um, this dress will be also nice to wear for a wedding but I know in some culture it's just not right to wear white dress on a wedding except that you're the bride but yeah I actually wore this dress for my own wedding and of course I really love the look of this